Uh, you know, that was, that was a big one for us. Um, you know, we had been through a lot, and we had a really good two days of practice. And, you know, Coach was big on just winning each day, and that starts in practice and stacking days. Uh, so we had a lot of confidence in those two days in practice because we felt like we won those days and we had really good days. Um, and then we got the win against Tennessee, and then we're going to have two really good. We had a good day of practice yesterday, have another good one today, and just keep winning days. What was it like, I guess, off the court, just you guys talking amongst yourselves? It sounds like maybe a team meeting or two. Just what was kind of the vibe within the team away from us? Yeah, you know, we have a very connected group, um, and we just came together um, and said things that needed to be said. Um, based on anyone, you know, it was open to anyone who needed to say something, and that was something, uh, you know, emotionally connecting for us um, to just come out and say what we needed to say. Um, and we really rallied around each other and gathered around that. Are there specific leaders or guys who were kind of uh, setting that kind of stuff up or, you know, kind of leading the conversation once it gets to that point? I mean, a lot of the older guys who have been playing for a while and have been, played here last year, we're definitely guys who stepped up in that area. So you, you were one of the guys on the video that broke down the team after. Do you consider yourself one of the leaders in this team? Yeah, for sure. And like I said, we have plenty of leaders, um, guys who have been around and played for Cal and have been here a while. Um, but yeah, for sure. Do you think it was easy for you all to wipe away what happened on Tuesday against South Carolina? Like, was, was staying focused a priority, or is that just, did that come natural just to move on to the Tennessee game? It was not. It wasn't easy because. Uh, that one, that loss stung. I mean, you don't want, we don't want to look back in any way. Um, but, you know, in my, in my five years of playing, that one probably stung the most. You know, guys after that game sat around the locker room for quite a while and just kind of stared around. Um, so that feeling and that loss was definitely a motivator um, going into Tennessee. Now vice versa, you know, you guys do have the momentum with you. How do you find the right balance of, you know, taking the good that you all had on Saturday against Tennessee, you know, taking some of that, but not, you know, still focusing on. Georgia. Yeah, like I said, you know, coach has been saying just stack days, win days, win days in practice. You know, we had a good film session yesterday, um, learned things that we needed to correct and had a good practice and go back out there today and win today and get ready to play a really good Georgia team and uh, then go out there and try to get a win tomorrow. What can you tell us about Georgia? Yeah, um, you know, first I want to just say my thoughts and prayers are with their entire athletic department and the families of those that were lost. Um, that's a terrible tragedy, and my thoughts and prayers are with everyone in that aspect. Um, but they're a really good team. They have really good guards, good bigs. They run a good offense. Um, you know, so we're going to have to do a good job today of locking in and understanding the game plan and preparing for tomorrow. Is it nice you have two at home back-to-back? Yeah, it's, it's real nice. It's always nice to, you know, play on your home court, play in front of your fans, sleep in your bed, um, especially when we just lost on our home court. So we kind of, you know, we feel like we got to get one back for sure. With, with the road games, I know you obviously don't have one for um, another week or so, but do you, can you put your finger on kind of what's leading to those slow starts on the road? I mean, obviously it came back Saturday, but, but got down. Yeah, you know, when we watched the film, we had great looks. Um, they just weren't going in, uh, but we kept fighting on the defensive end, and you know they got up 8-0. Obviously, but we just kept coming. and We kept coming. Um, you know, it, it is it's always tough to play on the road. Um, you know, for me as a player, I love playing at home. Everyone loves playing at home. You know, it's your rims. You practice there every day. You sleep in your own bed. Like you know what you're going to get yourself into when you're going on the road. Um, but I thought. Saturday, we just had that mentality of going on the road and fighting for 40 minutes, and that's what we did. You know, we got down 8-0. Nobody panicked. We just kept fighting. You know, we, it started on the defensive end. Casey got a steal. Dudes were diving on the floor. That kind of intensity is what you need on the road, and I thought we displayed that Saturday afternoon. Yeah, what was the difference there in the team defense? It seemed like, I know Jacob talked afterward, you know, it just takes one guy to, to break down for the whole thing to break down. What, what was the difference throughout the game? As a group, uh, I think we got 15 guys on the team. You know, one through 15 was just locked in. Everyone was just as important as the next. You know, the scout team preparing us, running their plays in practice. You know, dudes that come off the bench were ready to play. The five that were in the game were always connected. Uh, we were talking on defense. There was, like Jacob 
Jacob told you, there was no one guy wasn't locked into what was going on. You know, everyone was locked in. Um, you know, our bench was phenomenal, uh, huge spirit and energy. So that game, from a defensive standpoint, everyone was just locked into what we were trying to do. Chen Coleman was emotional on the bench after the game. Just how mentally taxing has this stretch kind of been for you guys as a unit? Uh, it's been tough just because we want to win so bad in that aspect. Um, but we understand that that's part of the game. You know, you're not going to, you're going to have slumps. Um, but we were able to, you know, come together. And I think that was just emotion, emotional for him, the way we kind of came together and um, came together as a team and did what we did. Um, but, you know, in a season that you're going to go through slumps, obviously. Um, but we just found a way to keep pushing, keep pushing, and keep getting after it. You said how did it feel playing the point? Yeah, playing when you had to play the point. Um, I played point guard in high school, but it's been a while since I played point guard in an actual game. But in practices, <coughs> I played point guard against South Korea, so I think I was a little bit ready for the moment. What was the difference defensively for you guys on Saturday? Jacob talked about communication and guys listening on defense. Was that the key, you think? Yeah, I think we were all zoned in and like we were one, we were a whole on the defensive side because we were having trouble with people talk, like not everyone would like listen. And Toro, we didn't have that trust in each other. But in that game, we, we all trusted each other. We were talking. Whenever someone said to do something, we all did it. Adu, was it hard for you or the team to move past what happened against South Carolina on Tuesday, just staying focused for Tennessee? Um, it's always next game up, win or lose. So I think we just, after that loss, we just forgot about the game and prepared for Tennessee. Yeah, on the flip side of that, now that you guys have a little bit of momentum, do you try and take a little bit of the positive that you got on Saturday and you know, bring that with you to tomorrow's game against Georgia? Yeah, I mean, I think I, we were at our lowest, so it's only up from here. So I think we're just going to go out and play how we played against Tennessee and fight. CJ said there were some player meetings called by some of the upperclassmen. What were those conversations kind of like, and how did that help you guys turn things around? Um, we were just trying to figure everything out, like going out onto the court, trying to figure out why we weren't doing some of the things like we have to do and just trying to get everyone out of their own heads and just being all in as a team. And I think those meetings helped because next game we were we were a whole as a team and went out and played together. He said when you guys got down 8-0, you didn't panic, and Coach Cal said that too in post game. How were you guys able to, I guess, refocus, reset, be like, okay, like we're still fine? Um, basketball is a game of runs, so they went 8 0. I mean, it was bound, like, we were bound to go up at one point, and get our run, and that's what happened. Kaysen got a steal, and it became 10 8. So we were just locked into the game. The bench just tried to bring the energy for the team. How important is it to follow up Saturday with a good performance tomorrow night? Um, I think we're just going to go out there and play, like, our basketball be worried about ourselves because that's all we can do right now and that's what's most important to us. Dude, can you talk about CJ as a leader? He's one of the more vocal guys out there, broke down the team after the game. Um, CJ's a very good leader. I mean, on the court, he's talking. If it's not his man, he's still talking to you. And he always makes sure, like, I don't, uh, I don't put my head down because after my first turnover, he was telling me, like, you're good, you're good. Just calm down, stay focused, you'll be fine. And I really needed that, and that was just very helpful. What was the locker room like after the game, and are you one of the players that dumped water on Coach Cal? Yeah, I was, for sure. But um, the locker room was it was very fun. We got in there, we were all hyped. I mean, it was a great road win, and it was just great to get that feeling. Uh, but, yeah, everyone was like, we're going to pour water on Cal, we're going to pour water on Cal, so then I got my water bottle and threw it down. <laughs> Who had the original idea to do that? You can tell them. 
I, I really don't remember. I just remember someone saying it. I don't think I was really paying attention that close. <laughs> we were all jumping around and stuff, and then someone said it, and somehow I had water. So. <laughs>